Happening now, if you haven't heard, another storm is on the way, too, in fact. More rain, more wind, more flooding. Horrible timing for many communities hit hard by that storm earlier this week. And all of this is keeping the insurance companies busy. And they'd like to collect. Uh, you know, they like to be busy when they're collecting, not when they're paying everybody out. But not everyone and not everything is going to be covered because you know how insurance can be. Our Jennifer yeah. Lee has some important tips. Tuesday night storms snapped trees and brought down utility poles and wires. Drivers across our region saw roads disappear due to flooding. We got hit with high winds. We, we had heavy rains. Um, we have homes and vehicles that are affected. David Phillips of State Farm says a traditional homeowner's policy covers wind damage and tree damage if it falls on your structure. But flooding is not covered. Flooding is excluded in, in, in almost all instances. Uh, a flood insurance policy would be required for, for surface water flooding, from river flooding, from uh, flooding from the streets. Um, that would need to have been obtained through the National Flood Insurance Programs. In Chad's Ford, several vehicles were abandoned on Route 1. Phillips says if you have comprehensive coverage under your auto policy, flooding damage to your vehicle is covered. If you need to make temporary repairs um, until the claim process begins, um, by all means do so. But you want to keep receipts. You want to keep account of any of the expenses, expenses that have gone in to uh, not subjecting the home or the vehicle to any further damage. That is the Brandywine Creek behind me, and you can see it is still pretty swollen from this last storm. State Farm says this was a multi-state event, and they're fielding hundreds to thousands of claims covering multiple types of damage to homes and cars. Take photographs of everything that you currently have or, or use video of all of your belongings in your home um, so that you know that if unfortunately you are impacted by weather related events, you have a recording, you have an inventory of the stuff that is in your home that potentially could be lost or damaged. Phillips recommends setting up an annual review with your insurance provider to discuss coverage. If you need flood coverage, he says, don't wait too long. So for the flood insurance program, for the National Flood Insurance Program, you can't, you can't get coverage the day before a storm is about to hit you. So there's usually a 30-day moratorium um, for that coverage to bind. If you'd like to learn more about the National Flood Insurance Policy, we'll have a link for you on fox29.com. Alongside the Brandywine Creek, Jennifer Lee, Fox 29 News.